Hi, this video is to show you as an invited practice in a grouping or a network, how to invite your patients to book in for sessions. Um, so if you go to the manage practice page, which you can get to from your Accurex desktop toolbar in the menu, um, you can click on this first link here, which is invite patients and manage bookings. So what you'll see here is any past invites that you have sent, but let's pretend you're sending your first one. Um, so you click on this invite patients link. This will allow you to upload a CSV that you can pull from um, EMIS or System 1. You can also pull this from other clinical systems like Vision, um, but make sure that these columns are labeled like this. Otherwise, you might experience errors because we can't read your column names. So that's, a, that's an issue that you may run into. Another note to mention here is that we're limited to 500 patients per upload. Um, so you also might see an error telling you that your file is too big. That might be because you have too many rows in it. So make sure it's under 500 patients. If I click on upload CSV file, um, I can choose here CSV test test. And this is so this is my uh, CSV that I want to upload. Um, you can see here that two people will be sent SMS invites because they have contact numbers, which are mobiles. And then Valerie Smith here doesn't have a mobile number, so we have to get her manually booked in. If I click continue, I can then from here write my message, which I can add to, so I can add more information. If you want to add a link to somewhere on your website where you're hosting more information, you can do that as well. Um, once I'm happy with that message, I can click send. And then that invite has now been sent. Once you've invited those patients, you can click into the details here. Two people here are waiting response. Um, so what I can do is click on this link here. And this is what the patient will see. This is also how you can select a waiting response and manually book someone in as well. Um, so you can see here that there's an option for the patient to decline and they can go through this flow here. They still need to confirm their identity, but they're able to say that they don't want to receive the vaccine. Um, there's also a link here, which will take them out to an NHS website, more around COVID-19 vaccines. They can then continue to booking, which they see the location, which is what your nominated coordinating site has put in is for the, the location of where they will receive their vaccinations. Continue, they then need to verify with their date of birth. If you're doing this manually, then you're able to see this here to get this information. Confirm. And then you can see here that they will see uh, details of when they can book their first vaccination. Now, the only slots that show here are ones with corresponding second slots for them to book into. So if you've got uh, a first slot but no second slot available, then that won't show to the patient to book in. And they can also expose more times to book into as well. So if the first ones don't apply to them, which are a random selection, they can expose more. So let's say I want to choose nine o'clock. Um, continue. And then you can see here that this is, um, ignore this piece of copy, we'll be updating that, but this is 21 days afterwards for the Pfizer vaccine. Um, so this is the corresponding slot they have, most likely, depending on how many clinics you've set up, there won't be that many options for them. Um, but that's kind of on you in terms of how many clinics are set up that are valid. And then they can see here a kind of uh, a review of the selected times they have. So this is exactly the same for whether you're booking in for a patient or they're doing it themselves. They can click and go back and edit their first or second slot if they're not happy. And then they can click confirm and accept. So you can see here they now have their vaccinations successfully booked in. Um, and if I refresh this page now, you can see that I've changed to booked. So this is now booked in for me. Just to go over with Valerie. So Valerie doesn't have a mobile number at all. So you can click on her link um, and go in and book for her.